a growing trend showing up all over our Instagram feeds. It seems ribbons and bows aren't just for little girls anymore. In today's style file, how the bow game is growing up. We've got four ways to add this major pop to any outfit and at any age. Studio 5 style and beauty contributor Megan Moore is here to show us how it's done and we know it's going to be good if I, when I hear this, may I quote? Sure. <clears throat> According to Megan Moore, this is my favorite trend that I've seen in years. Mm -hmm. Years? Yeah, because I've always loved hair accessories and I just think about like what I wore in high school and I'm so grateful there wasn't social media back there because there would be some <laughs> evidence against me. I wore some crazy hair accessories and so I personally love it. So I love to see that it's coming like full circle and people are embracing the scrunchie again. Like what? I do love the return of the scrunchie. Now the bow. I give pause to, and I know you're getting yeah. questions from women all the time about this. Can it be sophisticated? Can it be age appropriate? It can. I mean, you have to be a certain kind of person that feels bold enough to wear a bow, right? And I'm going to show you a few ways to wear it that is a little more toned down if it scares you a little bit. But I mean, I love to rock the big bow. I think it's really fun. But you know, you don't have to. There's other ways you can incorporate it that's a little bit more toned down. What trends are you seeing? So the big thing is um, bows, satin bows, velvet are big. Scrunchies are huge, of course, mm -hmm, right? They're mm -hmm. so good right now and then some really fun headbands are popping up again too so I just think you have to be careful about it and kind of kind of reach for things that are a little bit more sophisticated set the baseline any rules <clears throat> that we're following as we start to experiment and play yeah so I think the fabric is really crucial so look for fabric that's a little bit more elevated satin velvet even leather um, linen stuff that's just a little bit higher on the fabric chain like not down here in the sparkles and the glitters and the cotton right we're yes. going up a little bit that way we're so not shopping at Claire's exactly leave the <laughs> little girl section alone, right? Okay. okay. So that's the first thing. And then again, with patterns, look for things that are more mature, stripes, polka dots, you know, classic plaid, mm -hmm. leave the unicorns, rainbows, uh, you know, Shucks, darn. the glitter, all the sparkles, leave that for the little girls. So okay. look for stuff that's a little bit more elevated that I mean, way. I knew I was drawn to unicorns, but whatever. I mean, <laughs> some people really love unicorns, mermaids, I don't know. Okay, what else? And then the other thing is, I think placement is really important. So think about where a little girl wears a bow, you know, you have anywhere bows and they're probably right here, yeah. right? Right yeah. in the front, right on top. So tight, take it back a step and almost make it like a little surprise. Keep them more towards the back of the head and then you won't feel so little girly. That's a really big one. So placement is key on okay, that for sure. Okay. And then if you're really nervous, just go into something small. Just a little little bow in a, an elastic detail. It doesn't have to be big. Yeah, I don't know admittedly if I could do this, but I am drawn to like this. I think right. this dainty smaller size is really sweet yep. and sophisticated like yep. you talked about. And it's velvet so it feels a little bit more more grown up so you don't have to go big you right. can even like some of these like elastics even there's just an elastic add it to your ponytail to give us something if a full-on scrunchie feels a little too much for you then okay. you can go something smaller Hit me up I'm ready what okay. do you envision for my bow game so I, these are really cool wired headbands they have oh. a wire that runs through the middle and you can really place it however you want so okay. if you don't want to put the big bow up in the front if that feels a little too much for you you can bring it over to the side is kind this of? what I would have looked like in the 70s? Totally. Isn't that cute? A little 70s headband. I would wear this like on a Saturday, casual day. I yes. would. Yes. And you can have you can oh. have this little tail show if you want to. A little volume. Or you can hide it if you don't feel great mm -hmm. about it. Isn't mm -hmm. that cute? Just a little something, mm -hmm. little mm -hmm. zhuzh. I like, I like it, right? And the elastic allows you to kind of play and shape and. Yep, you can totally move it around and put it wherever you wherever you want. Sometimes I'll do it up on top if I'm feeling bold, but you can hide it if you're not if you're not into it. Okay, wired headband, tail or no tail. What's our next look? Okay, so this one on Tiff right here. This is another double headband. It's got two across the top that I love. Oh, cute! I love the double. Isn't tip. that cute? cute? But then it has these tails. Now this is the fun part, right? You can you can tie them, drape them over the shoulder, however you want. So it just gives her a little bit of zhuzh. Some Something fun, but again, it's not right up in the top, so it doesn't feel too over the top. I love the pop of color, subtle. Yes, yes. subtle. And the timing of this trend is awesome. Some are a great time to look more relaxed and try something more playful. Exactly. It makes everybody more creative with their hairstyles, which is another reason it I love it. Pushes us. It You're pushes all us about to the try challenge. new things. Yeah. What's happening here? Now this is a scrunchie look, and I love this one. Now we've seen scrunchies; they're perfect for a high bun, a high like wherever you want to put them. But this is a really fun way to do it and add actually more than one this scrunchie of the same look. So we did a little bub bubble pony here on Katie and we added three of the same really fun right I and love again it. polka dots so it's like a mature look and it goes cute with her outfit I don't want to say I'm surprised because you always sell me and you're always great Megan about pulling off the class factor but I really am surprised at how
how much I love that. Yeah. That's cute. And from the front, she just looks, you know, sophisticated, low pony, and then you get that pop-up surprise. She's ready. She's ready to go. All right. Cute, right. Fourth and final look. And then this is Jade, and Jade is rocking the big kind of satin bow. But Jade again, can do it. it's behind her head. So from the front, you're not going to see it. It doesn't fill over the top, but it just gives a really cute pop of color, and it goes great. You know, it jazzes any outfit up. So it's just t-shirt and jeans, throw in a bow, all of a sudden you look like you've got a little bit more going on. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but does hair length or like bone structure make a difference in the size of bow that you try to pull off? I don't think so. I think the size is more about confidence, right? If you feel like you want to just go for it, go for it. I mean, she's got shorter hair and it still looks really cute. I mean, if you've got much shorter hair than this, then the proportion might be off. But I really think it's just one of those things where you just need to just kind of go for it, you know? And you're not giving us an age cutoff. I'm not. Gates are open. I'm letting you go for it. Take it. Take bow it, it up. If you feel confident, do it. All right. We mentioned Megan loves this trend. You love it so much. You've invested in this trend. Yeah. So when this started coming up, I was like, this is, this is my thing. So I decided to open my own bow shop online because I you. just love it. So this, these are all bows from my shop, which is really fun. Where can we shop your styles? It's bonjourbobby.com. Cute name. Isn't that cute? Thank you. Yes. And I see so. this sticking around because I see it as one of these trends that women are going to be maybe a little hesitant to try. Mm -hmm. And then I envision it's going to pick up steam yeah. and keep it's going. It's a slow burn at first because yeah. like, you know, the scrunchie, I was like, oh no, scrunchies are back. And now I'm a hundred percent on board. So I think it's something that you have to try and get used to and then you'll be a hundred percent with the it. The slow burn trend. That's yeah. the best way to say it. Megan, thank you ladies. Thank You're you welcome. so much. The bow game is back. You've seen it and, and heard it here first.